Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how to solve system of equation by using substitution method. In the previous sessions we learned how to use how to solve system of equation by graphing and by elimination either using addition, subtraction or multiplication. Today we will learn how to solve system of equation by substitution. Let's see our first example. Okay, so here, in order to solve by substitution, we have three main steps. Step number one, get solve at least one equation for one variable. So I need the y uh, equal whatever or x equals whatever. This should be my first step. And then I'm going to take the value of x or y that I've just got from step one and substitute it in the second equation and solve the equation for this variable. Now, I will get a value for x or y from step 2. I will use it to substitute in any of the two equations using this value that I got from step 2 and write the solution as ordered pair. Let's check the example. So here in example number 1, I need to use substitution to solve the system of equation y equals negative 4x plus 12 into x plus y equals 2. Now I have already my first equation written for the variable y. So I can substitute negative 4x plus 12 instead of y in the second equation. So it's going to be 2x plus, instead of writing y, I'm going to write negative 4x plus 12 equals 2. So it's going to be 2x minus 4x because positive negative is going to be negative. So 2x minus 4x plus 12 equals 2. Now I will collect like terms. So 2x minus 4x, this is negative 2x plus 12 equals 2. And I will subtract 12 from each side in order to get rid of the 12. So I got negative 2x equals negative 10. Now we are going to divide by negative 2 on both sides, which will give us x equals 5. Using the 5 for x, we will substitute in either equation to find y. So I know y equals negative 4x plus 12. So instead of x, we are going to write 5. So y equals negative 4 times 5 plus 12. So this is y equal negative 8, which was negative 20 plus 12. This gives us negative 8. So the solution is 5 for x and negative 8 for y. And it can be written as ordered pair 5 and negative 8. Okay, here in this example, we have both examples or uh, we have both equa equations written in standard form. So I need to solve in the first equation for x. Why did I pick the first equation? Because it's the only equation with the coefficient of x equals 1. So this will not give me a fraction form. So using the first equation, we are going to solve for x. What is the meaning of solving for x? To write the equation in the form of x equals whatever. So in order to get the solve for x, we are going to get rid of the negative 2y by taking it to the other side in positive. This means that x is going to be 2y minus 3 or negative 3 plus 2y. This was our first step. Okay, now we are going to use the value of x and substitute using this value, negative 3 plus 2y, in the second equation. So here we go. Let's substitute 3. Instead of x, we are going to write negative 3 plus 2y. So 3 times negative 3, this is negative 9. 3 times 2, this is positive 6y, and plus 5y equals 24. Now we will collect like terms. So negative 9 plus 6y and 5y, it's going to be 11y, so negative 9 plus 11y equals 24. Now we will, add we will add positive 9 in both equations or both sides in order to get rid of the negative 9. So I will have 11y equals 12, 24 plus 9, which is 33. Now we will uh, divide by 11 by on both sides. This will give me y equals 3. Now we will get to step 3. So now we're going to find the value of x. How can we do this? 
by substituting the value of y that we got which was 3 so x minus 2y equals negative 3 I'm going to replace each y by 3 so x minus 2 times 3 which is 6 x minus 6 equals negative 3 now we are going to add 6 in both sides so this will give us x equal 3 and our solution set is going to be 3 and 3 I hope this was clear see you guys in the next lesson goodbye